All my work comes out of a divine calling, and this piece felt to me specifically as a calling from spirit to give expression for the Earth's creatures. The process was much like a shamanic journey, a journey into the underworld for these creatures, to bring back healing for them, the Earth, myself. The overarching theme for the painting became the garden is right here, right now, not in a paradisal future. My love for the earth inspires my work. It comes from a very deep, mystical experience, a relationship that I have with the earth, that I'm not separate, that I am one with all creation. Because of my love for the earth, I also feel great despair at what's happening around the planet. It was during the Gulf oil spill of 2010. I was sitting in my garden and it came to me, the tree of life. I don't choose images, I allow the images to come to me. This is part of the shamanic journeying being present, being slow, listening to spirit. A deep area of concern for me for some time has been the plight of endangered species. The pelicans covered in oil, dolphins, wildlife. I felt helpless to stop it. So I turned to my canvas. I started with the tree of life, the roots going deep into the earth. A vision of the embryo in the center, that we are born of the earth. No matter what faith we choose or inherit, we are all of the earth. For me, paradise isn't in some unknowable future. It's not in heaven somewhere else. Paradise is right here on this glorious planet. We need only remember the holiness of this place we call home. The endangered polar bear, spotted owl, tiger and salmon, all asked to be included in this mandala or the creation illumination, the centerpiece of the triptych bringing together symbolism from both the Genesis narrative and those of our Earth-honoring ancestors that includes symbolism of the four directions, the four elements, the four seasons. This painting became a visual scripture to reveal our innate interconnectedness in the web of creation. I began with the polar bear at the top in the north, the direction of winter, the polar bear sitting in front of the Arctic shelf, sitting in the garden with the winter flowers. I began to journey around the wheel of the seasons, moving to the east, the direction of new beginnings, spring. The young spotted owl came forward. Mount Hood sits behind, daffodils in spring. I journey to the south in my painting, and the tiger emerged. I've always felt a great love for the big cats. Here, the direction of the south representing summer, fire, the daisies, the wildflowers around the tiger. A small honeybee rests in the heart of the daisy. Leaving the south, it was Brother Salmon who emerged. I wanted to give expression to their, their journey, their struggle to survive. Here in the west, element of water, tree frog. Here I take the serpent and wrap it around the creation, the Ouroboros the serpent eating its own tail, a symbol of transformation and a hope of the transformation that 
may occur on our planet in this evolutionary time. It was a very mystical process and a large part of it was waiting, waiting for guidance. Genesis 1-1, in the beginning. The golden domes in the center of the panel come from Genesis 1-6, where God separated the heavens from the earth. So I took that theme and put the creatures in the garden under the domes, the heavens surrounding them. Because my original intention was to bring together the Judeo-Christian and indigenous spirituality, I wanted to reclaim Adam and Eve from their indigenous roots. 576 BC, the book of Genesis was written by the early Israelites in the wake of the Babylonian exile. People were indigenous looking they were connected to their land. They weren't Aryan, as they were often portrayed in Christian art. I felt strongly about this and began work on Eve. In Hebrew, Eve translates as the mother of all. I wanted that feeling of peace. It was about her sitting in the garden as the polar bear sits in the garden. We are in the garden. I wanted to surround her with imagery sumptuous, sensual imagery, the white lily, a symbol of Mary, of innocence. The impatience flowers magnified, a symbol of motherly love, goddess of the ancient world, Eve, mother in the Jewish tradition, Mary, Divine Mother in the Christian tradition, Eve. Steward of creation. When I move my attention to the Adam wing, here his eyes are open, alert, looking over the creation. Hand on the heart, warrior pose, ready to protect the creation at all costs. Here, I explored sunflowers, fire energy. We have the pomegranate, believed to be the actual fruit eaten in the Garden of Eden. Hawthorn flowers, used in pagan traditions of Beltane and Mayday. God created Adam out of the earth, Adama. Eve and Adam coming back together in balance between the sacred feminine and the sacred masculine. I believe that this is what's being asked of us during this evolutionary time. Reclaiming our original blessing. The earth is holy and worthy of our reverence. Too often we think about paradise, Eden, in some future place and time. It's right here in the fabric of our everyday life. Our grief, our pain, our despair for what's happening to our creatures, to the water, to the air, these feelings break open our heart to each other and our world. For me, through my art, through the creation of this painting, I've broken open my heart. I've created beauty in a broken world. My process is one of devotion, and I dedicate my work daily to the awakening and healing of all beings, and to the healing of the earth. This is my prayer.